Hey everybody, this is this is Bootloader. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to use a Sony PlayStation 3 controller with your Android phone. You use it as an external gamepad or input method. Um, first things you're going to need are an Android phone, um, a Sony PlayStation 3 controller, which I have off to the side here, and your phone is going to need to be rooted. Uh, if you've not already done already rooted your phone, I suggest you do so. Um, it does void your warranty in most cases, but um, you're really not at risk of breaking it, freezing it, any of that stuff. Rooting actually does give you a lot of added potential to your phone to really get it up and running to its full potential. But anyways, first things first, you're going to go to your Play Store and download the 6-axis compatibility tracker. Um, I've already done this, you know, before, but um, anyways, you're going to download that, give it super user access, and it'll let you know if your phone supports the uh, Bluetooth radio, if it has that right um, radio signal modem and all that stuff to work with the controller. So once you download that, you're going to want to download 6-axis controller, which cost, uh, I think it's about $2.50, and it's well worth it. So anyways, you're going to download those, go down to your app drawer, and go all the way down to the 6-axis controller app. You have start, change input method, stop, and pair controller. So before you do this, after you download the app, you need to hook your controller up to your place or up to your laptop or PC, whatever you may be using. And you're going to go to Dancing Pixels website, which is the publisher and the developer of the app. And on their website, they have a download. And that download, all you have to do is download it and install it, and it's a little executable file. So what you do is you take the controller and you plug it into your laptop. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this number down here on the bottom, your Bluetooth address, and you're going to type that in in a little file. There's only one place to type it in, and there's buttons for OK and Close. So the number on top of the little program is what the wireless address for the controller is. You want to type in this number down here, your local Bluetooth address, and then hit OK. It'll change your controller over to that address, and then you're good to go. So, if you want me to, I can make a tutorial for that, but there's really um, no need to. I'll link the, uh, the website down in the description below the video. So to get started here, um, to get started, I'm just going to hit Start. It's going to connect the connection, turn it on, yada yada yada, connect the, or get super user access, and then you're going to turn on your controller. So see, listening for controller client one connected battery status high. And as you can see, my PlayStation controller is now connected to the phone. So what I do is I'm going to go here to change I and E to the input method. You see I have several options. I have the AOSP keyboard. Google keyboard, which is what I use, LG and 6-axis controller. Select that, and go home. So now, I can open up my app drawer, and take my controller, and navigate through my apps. So, let's go over here to um, FPSE, which is a PSX or PlayStation 1 emulator. And, um, I forgot I got the keys mapped. So I'm actually going to have to physically select it right now, but it does mean you will get used to it, but I have to use map and I have to take them off. So I'm going to go in here, load up the game, and I feel like playing Crash Bandicoot. Then I'm going to load up my save game, and as you can see, I'm playing some Crash Bandicoot with my PlayStation 3 controller. So yeah, that's how you get your Bluetooth or your Sony PlayStation controller hooked up to your phone via Bluetooth. Um, very simple, and also I'm going to be creating a tutorial for how to get up and running with the emulators. And um, please ignore my gaming skills, I haven't played this game in a very long time. But um, it's definitely worth the $2.63, cent however much it was. But um... Yeah, mixed car rides a lot better, all that kind of stuff. So definitely check it out. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, that's it for today.